Is the real estate market in Colorado headed for a crash? No. So I do my best to try to keep my ears and eyes open, uh, attend a lot of webinars, try to read a lot of articles so I can present to you some really good information. So that's what this video today is um, about. So in April, we hit 8.3% inflation officially, which is our highest in 41 years. So if you look at shadowstats.com, which is a really neat website that many believe more accurately show what our real levels of inflation are, they say it's more like 12%. So we're all feeling it in one way or another. So at this point, the Federal Reserve knows they have to raise rates. And this is not a science, it's a bit of an art. So they're kind of taking it to the head. Uh, the US economy is taking a, a punch into the stomach, trying to bring this back under control, which is a huge thing. So evidence has shown that eight out of the last nine times that the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates, it causes a recession. So it doesn't, they don't have a great history of, of this soft landing that we're going for, all right? So there's most likely gonna be a recession coming forward, which is just a general slowdown of economic activity. And it's definitely not all bad, all right? As you can see, those, those gray vertical lines in this chart refer to short periods of recession. So, the next question is, are interest rates gonna keep going up and up and up as the Federal Reserve keeps raising rates? And the answer is no, not really. As you can see, most of the uh, anticipated rate hikes are already priced into this current day's interest rate. So we're not gonna see things continue to go up like crazy. If you look at this chart, which shows the last 30 years, or the last many years of the uh, 30 year mortgage is what I meant to say, um, you know, relatively speaking, we're still kind of on the lower end of things and we don't have the, the economy or the environment that, that these rates are gonna get way high up like they were in the, uh, the early 80s. Uh, finally, you know, are we headed for a crash, right? So we have an extremely low supply of houses. There's still a great demand for houses. People have more cash savings than they've ever had before. People are working from home. They have low fixed interest rates. So this is looking nothing like uh, 2008 that was based on adjustable rate mortgages where people put no money down and had ridiculous teaser rates and then they jumped like crazy. Now people are fixed in super low rates and almost every house has got equity. So we're not looking at this foreclosure crisis or that prices are gonna come way down. Uh, last thing I wanted to share with you is that this last chart that shows that Colorado is really in an area of very low likelihood of major price declines. And this was uh, a chart in Fortune magazine. So you can feel good about your real estate investments. It's still a great time to pursue them. All right, and I look forward to sharing more with you later. Uh, give me a call if you know anyone interested in buying or selling a home in the next year in Colorado, Ryan Yonke, 719-210-5517.